Okay, so here I um, am back. This is Paper Kitty. Welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of pulling this box apart. Okay, just keeping it simple, guys, so we can do it. Because if we get all complicated, sometimes that's why we don't do it. Because we're like, oh, by the time I make pretty boxes and decorate them, I'm going to, you know, no. So, um, no. So I'm just going to go ahead and just process these boxes a little bit. Hope I was not out of frame that whole time. Um, then I'm going to kind of cut them in half and I could do the little grooves on it maybe. And, um, let's see, I think it would be, would it be this way or this way? If I put the fabric this way, I guess it would be kind of like that. I'm not sure. Okay, whatever. Just going to, I'm just going to do it just gonna do it quick and easy way just so that I can have some order in this lace madness okay so I had this big one uh, which actually I think I'm gonna use that's that's probably too too big for it I mean yeah well See, and this one's kind of big too, but it's really thin and there's not a lot of it on there. So I may just go ahead and use this for this one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I think I showed you this, this one already, guys. So yeah, I'm going to, I think I'm going to tape this one. I don't know why. Some of them I feel like I could just tape them. Maybe this one's thinner and I feel like it would hold, you know? So I'm going to do that. And then some of them are kind of thicker and heavier, and maybe I feel like that's going to totally fall off fairly easily. Um, so maybe that's why I don't get too fancy with it, and I just uh, put the, put the uh, pin. But um, yeah, let me let me try to do this here. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty guys. Yeah, I think I've already shown you this batch, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few more. Um, so that's why I'm videoing because I feel like I may have to put this on on a, a speedier speedier version maybe do a voiceover on it maybe not who knows um, but yeah I guess I wanted to show you the box you know how I did the box thing so this one I feel like maybe I do want to put a little bit here for it again I'm not really sure why other than because it's bigger maybe and I feel like it might fall apart you know, unravel easier, maybe. Okay, so I hope I'm in frame. I've been in frame all this time. Alrighty, so another trim that um, I don't think I have shown is this trim, which is like a boho thing, which I, I have not gotten the boho bug. So, uh, but if I do, Look at this. I am totally ready, aren't I? Look at that. Beautiful gold fabric and it's got this, or trim, and then it's got this beautiful part right there. So I've got that. And actually this one, let's see, do I need such a big piece for this one? I kind of feel like I do because I feel like it's heavier, you know? So, um, hmm, 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 how to do this? Yeah, this is probably one of those that is better to actually have those little indentations on there, but since I didn't do that, 
I'm just gonna go with it and put some tape and hope for the best because again I'm just glad to be even getting to this I never thought I would even though I've been I've been looking at my laces and my trims for a long time and thinking I don't know what to do to get organized and I really want to because I really want to be able to use what I have I have very beautiful things and I just need to um, use them so looks like we're gonna be okay see here I almost feel like I need a, a safety pin I think I'm gonna use a paper clip because that's all I've got that is fairly handy at the moment so I'm gonna do that and I think we're gonna be okay with that for today for right now so yeah keep moving the camera with my elbow okay and then this this trim is also really cool but it's kind of I think it's also kind of boho-ish. I don't know if you can tell with all this hot mess here. You know, it's, it's kind of it's kind of like a hippie hippie chick, kind of seventies looking. I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. But uh, now I now that I remember that I have it, you know, I'll, I'll find something to do with it. But anyway, yeah, I don't have any more of those boxes. I gotta go ahead and process a few more so I can put that in there and then this one's similar except that it's got um, this like little squares so this is like a little crochet kind of I don't know but then again it, it also very very 70s looking very boho -ish, boho ish so there's that and uh, I've already shown you this one I've already shown you all the stuff that's back here I've got I think a few more and actually I've got a bunch more but I'm only gonna take out probably what it is that I can um, work with so um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I want to get into all this other craziness right now because then I have to organize it. <laughs> and I'm not sure that I want to do that right now, but um, anyway, I guess I'll show you some of this. Oh, look at this, people. Oh, my goodness. This is a um, linen. Look at this linen scrumptious oh, isn't that pretty oh my goodness I love this and it's got that scalloped trim all around and it's just so pretty so pretty actually I I'm having a struggle with this one because this is one of those that I cannot even cut because is just too pretty and I think what I ended up doing is scanning it which I think it's okay to do that um, so and, and you know I may or may not use it on a junk journal like that you know like the scan image of, of this beauty there's another one like that and then there's this one that and that beautiful that is so pretty so so pretty but like I said I'm not a hundred percent sure that I can cut these up honestly I, I don't think I can okay some of them I can't like if they're stained or something but this is not stained or anything so the ones that are like intact I don't think I can cut into them this is just a beautiful linen runner which yeah I, I need to keep that I need to remember to use it is what I need to do because there's no sense in keeping them in the bag and not using them either so and yes they may get stained but 
Okay, on the plus side, if they get stained and I can't wash them off, I can maybe then cut them. I don't know. That sounds, that sounds kind of crazy, but anyway. Isn't this gorgeous? Look at that. Oh, I could totally see that on the cover of a book. But again, not sure. Not sure how I want to do that. Look at this little crochet baby girl. So pretty. It's a sweetie pie. And then this yellow. It's just so striking. Yellow. Ooh. You know, this might actually go nicely with my uh, botanical. I'm doing a a botanical journal right now that uh, has a daffodils and it's some beautiful yellow daffodils um, okay so now this one has got a little stain on it or several stains on it so I may be able to work with this one and, and cut the pieces out that are you know embroidered so these are like grape leaves, isn't that pretty? That would be so pretty like on a grape, like a wine journal or something. I don't know, let's see. I already showed you this, I have a couple of these. And then, um, doilies again. I've got several of these, and they're like bit, bits of them. Some of them are whole, but some of them are like pieces of a doily and I somehow acquired them just like that and I think that was from an estate sale um, and then this is sweet as can be look at this little sweetie look at this little sweetie I don't think I can cut her up no yeah no nope 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 and there's like a tiny stain but I I'm not gonna cut it up. Nope, I'm gonna try to remember to use it. There again, the video is gonna help me document that. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is the one that it's, it's like the pieces of it, so it's kind of already cut into. So I definitely wanna remember to use that. And um, there's another one. Pretty, 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 and these are smaller. Smaller, can cut them up. Smaller, they're already kind of cut out. Champ, stop that. I'm sorry guys, I, I can't stand that licking noise that the dog does. It, it makes me crazy, I'm sorry. Crazier maybe, okay. So this came like this, but I don't really care for this too much. Look at this doily, isn't that pretty? Ooh. Okay, almost done here, guys. This one's gonna be hopefully a little shorter, but again, I just thought somebody might enjoy seeing seeing this. This is just so pretty, look at that. Beautiful linen piece right here. And uh, look at that, beautiful. Beautiful, it needs to be ironed. And um, yeah, oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. Look at this, stunning. And these strawberries, look at this little embroidered cuteness. More doilies. And last but not least, Whatever this kind of flower is, I'm not too sure what kind of flower it is. Look like little daisies, sort of. Maybe you can tell me below what these little yellow flowers are. Again, guys, thanks a lot for sharing with me. Uh, I think this is about all I want to share about lace because I've already done a, a lot on that. And I still have more lace. Um, but yeah, unless somebody says, hey, uh, show us more lace, I probably won't for a while. Um, thank you again for your time. Please remember to subscribe if you have not. It um, really encourages me and also, you know, ring the little bell icon so that you can get uh, notifications because unfortunately now when you subscribe, 
it doesn't always give you you know when I have a new video so um, you have to ring the little bell also give me a thumbs up and I think that's it for now guys thanks a lot love you so much love you so much see you in the next one